Some PC enthusiasts swear by their hulky desktops, but the reality? Picking the best gaming laptop is a more practical choice for many shoppers. But how do you make sense of all the screen sizes, 14 to 18 inches, and component options, Core, Ryzen, Radeon, GeForce, you face when shopping? Our experts can help. Gaming laptops are all about tested CPU and graphics performance, and our analysts are aces at benchmarking and evaluating these laptops to find the best values. They also assess design, usability, connectivity, and display quality in every model. Our favorites are organized into budget, under about $1,200, mid-range, between $1,200 and $2,000, and high-end $2,000 and up categories. We have listed the five best gaming laptops of 2025, and their key features you need to consider this to help you choose the best one for you. For more information on the product, as always, I've included a link in the description box down below, which are updated with the best prices on each product. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to... Number 5. MSI Titan 18HX If cost is no object and you're seeking a desktop-like laptop experience for maximum performance, look no further than the MSI Titan 18HX 53999 as tested. This 18-inch powerhouse packs a fresh Intel 14th-gen Raptor Lake refresh, Core i9HX processor, an RTX 4090 GPU, a whopping 128GI of memory, a 4TB solid-state drive, and a 4K 120Hz mini-LED display. Enthusiast gamers are more than covered, meaning this is a machine for demanding media, processing, or data-crunching tasks in addition to gaming. Outside of that thin upper slice of the market, the Alienware M18 is a comparatively more approachable 18-inch machine. At the same time, the editor's choice. Award-holding Lenovo Legion Pro 7i Gen 8 is the best overall value among gaming laptops costing more than $2,000. The Titan, as ever, is a pick for peak power seekers untethered from the budget or space constraints of mere mortals. When you see an 18-inch gaming laptop, it needs little introduction you can rightly assume it's going for power. That's even more the case for the Titan 18 than others, as the name suggests, pulling no punches in its design or choice of high-end components, as was evident when we first saw this system at a CES 2024 preview. Older big-screen laptops used to go even bigger, so the Titan is perhaps relatively compact versus the behemoths of old, but it's still a beast when put against most modern laptops. Specifically, it measures 1.25 by 15.9 by 12 inches and weighs 7.93 pounds, a reasonable footprint for an 18-inch system, but sparing little concern for weight. Laptops of this size, bluntly, are not meant to be moved much. These are desktop replacement devices, giving you a monitor-like experience and destined to stay put on your desk. Number 4. Acer Nitro 16 Every dollar counts in the best gaming laptops under $1,000, where Acer's Nitro 16 919199 as tested stands out as one of the best values. Its AMD Ryzen 5 CPU and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4050 are a potent combo, and games really come to life on its bright 1920x1200 165Hz screen. The Nitro 16 also doesn't miss out on creature comforts with its 4-zone RGB keyboard, USB 4 Type-C port, quiet fans, and long battery life. The few areas where it doesn't do well, namely its tinny speakers and preloaded bloatware, aren't as significant in the bigger picture. For under $1,000, this Acer is the real deal. Acer's bread-and-butter Nitro series sits below its premium Predator line. The Nitro 16 we're looking at is a revamp of the Nitro 5, doing away with the old 16.9 screen standard for the more modern, or retro, depending on how long you've been paying attention to display tech. 16.10 Aspect Ratio The laptop's all-plastic shell isn't a surprise given its entry-level status, but it's well-made and doesn't feel fragile. Its surfaces were resistant to flex, even when I pressed hard with my fingertips. The lid received a makeover with flashy graphics and Acer's N for Nitro logo, which looks backlit in photos but isn't. The N logo also found its way into the bottom screen bezel. I think the lid graphics rescue this laptop from looking boring. It would otherwise have only its backlit keyboard to catch the eye. The lines are simple and, as a Miami Vice fan, pink and blue are a perfect pairing in my eyes. 
I have mixed thoughts on the Nitro logo. It's something new since the Nitro 5 didn't have it, so Acer is clearly making efforts to build the brand. My issue is that it didn't immediately look like an N, so initially I didn't know what it meant, and I'm still not convinced that this logo is memorable. I wonder why Acer didn't just spell out Nitro in the same crystallized font. Number 3. MSI Katana 15Y The MSI Katana 15 is one of the company's new value-oriented gaming laptops, starting at a low $999, though our step-up test unit comes to one of $599. The machine sports an unexciting design only slightly decorated by simple RGB lighting. While the screen smoothly displays games at a 144Hz refresh rate, it's not a looker. The real value of this laptop is in its internal hardware, with powerful components that give it an edge against rivals like the Lenovo Legion 5i Gen 7 or the HP Omen 16 when it comes to gaming performance. The Katana 15 is an exciting option if you're looking to get the latest generation hardware for a lower price than the flagship machines we've seen so far, earning it an earnest recommendation. As I said, the MSI Katana 15, model B13VGK484US, isn't a visual standout, staying true to its budget trappings. The laptop is almost entirely covered in black plastic with a few carbon fiber stylings around the edges. Some of the plastic is made to look like metal sheets, but it's not convincing. The whole thing is a bit of a chunk, weighing 4.96 pounds and measuring almost an inch thick, 0 0.98 by 14.1 by 10.2 inches. Its width is typical of 15.6-inch laptops, but it's on the tall side because it has sizable bezels above and below the screen. The base feels fairly sturdy, and the four rubber feet on the bottom provide a solid grip on a desk or table, though the display hinge wiggles a bit. MSI made room for a shrunken numeric keypad next to the keyboard. Unfortunately, it had to move the mathematical operation keys from their usual places, requiring some readjusting to learn. The company also made the curious decision to not offset the cursor arrow keys, which are tucked tightly between the main keyboard and number pad, but instead shrink them. Number 2. Gigabyte. Aorus 16X. The Gigabyte. Aorus 16X, 15599999 as tested, is an excellent all-around device that can rival some of the best gaming laptops. This mid-range 16-inch model offers impressive performance with its Intel Core HX-Class processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4070 graphics card. It excels in nearly every area, particularly its screen and practical features, including a comfortable keyboard and IR webcam, also make it suitable for everyday use when not gaming. While we wish the battery life lasted longer, there's still plenty to appreciate here. The Aorus 16X's midnight gray chassis looks more like black in person. It makes no attempt to hide that it's a gaming laptop with aggressive cooling vents, an RGB light bar and keyboard, and flashy detailing on the palm rest. The laptop is built with sturdy plastic used in the chassis and aluminum on the lid. The lid opens only 45 degrees past vertical. I'd like to see it go a full 180 degrees. Looks-wise, Aorus's reflective lid, logo, and badge don't really stand out though the light bar running along the bottom edge is bright and projects Aorus's logo about an inch behind the laptop for a touch of uniqueness. The Gigabyte Control Center app provides different color schemes and patterns, pulse, rainbow wave, static, and color cycling. The lighting can, of course, be disabled. I liked it and kept it enabled. The inside of this laptop is also flashy, with vents across the top of the keyboard and textured patterns flanking it, the team-up fight-on lettering on the palm rest isn't my taste, but the printed lines running through the touchpad add flair. The Aorus 16X pulls off the aggressive look successfully. At 1402 X10X 1.06 inches and 5.07 pounds, the Aorus 16X has about the same footprint, but is lighter than the Lenovo Legion Pro 5i Gen 9, 14.3 X 10.25 X 1.05 inches, 5.51 pounds, and the Alienware M16 R2, 1433X981093 inches, 575 pounds. It's not quite as slim as the Alienware. Number 1. Asus TUF Gaming A14 It's easy to get jaded when reviewing gaming laptops. Years of testing the fastest and most furious can do that to you. But we're not so far gone that we can't appreciate a good bargain. And that's exactly what the Asus TUF Gaming A14 is. It starts at 1399 dollars in our as-tested model FA401UV. 
lightweight, compact, and durable for gaming on the go. The Notebook's AMD Ryzen 7 processor and NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU aren't the most powerful combination on the planet, but they deliver consistent performance and respectable frame rates. The TUF also offers a bright, vivid display with a high refresh rate, as well as a comfortable keyboard and solid battery life for when you need to quit gaming and do some work or digital content creation. A dull design and weak speakers keep the tough gaming A14 from perfection, but it's a great choice for gamers who prize performance and frugality. Asus's tough laptop line targets entry-level and mid-tier gamers, and the A14 reflects that wallet-friendly mission with two sub-$1500 configurations. The base model, FA401UV, tested here costs $1399.999 and sports a 3.8 GHz AMD Ryzen 78845HS processor, 16 GB of 7500 MHz LP Drux memory, a 1 TB NVMe solid-state drive, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 4060 GPU with HEDF VRAM, and a 14-inch 60 by 600 pixel display with a 16.10 aspect ratio and a 165 Hz peak refresh rate. If you want just a bit more potency, another $100 buys the model FA401WVV with a 2.0 GHz Ryzen AI 9 HX370 CPU. Arguably, the main difference between the two systems is the neural processing unit. The entry model has an AMD NPU rated for a maximum of 16 tops, trillions of operations per second, compared with the Deluxe version's 50 tops. Worth noting, each laptop has two M2 SSD slots capable of housing up to 40 byte of PCIe 4.0 solid-state storage. It's a nod to the D-ears out there who want to fiddle around with their system's insides.